get a little tired of just doing games all the time. Everybody's smiling. I can't even do that with like a heavy water bottle. What a beast. <laughs> just like, That's dude, incredible. This. I'm gonna tell you right now. I needed this guy. I'm telling you guys, man. Filthy reason. I'm telling you, man. Your mom. Man, man. But your mom needs to come on the podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> your mom's a filthy dude. reason. Man, my mom would tell things like by a quarter. Oh, God. Please don't erase. Please don't erase. Please don't turn it back on. Erase. The save game erase. I, I see on. that because I experienced that. Mega Man 2. Final boss with my brothers. Two seconds later, I see my cat just walk by, barely grace the Nintendo and just the screen. And I was like, <laughs> When that happened, he kind of got, dude, he got kicked out of the scene fast. I felt so bad. Because, I mean, if you don't really have any money, you got to figure out a way to get it, right? You got to sell your own stuff. If we were only strictly based on what we're finding, we would have quit a long time ago. Yeah. At any time, I was like, okay, nobody wants to play retro games anymore. Yep. This is just, the business is gone. You know, I have a family to take care of. It's very accepted to point out the negatives about resellers, right? It's very accepting. Like, oh, reseller, scalper, whatever the words. Are. We've heard it all. Scumbag, you know. You know? Scumbag. <laughs> and again, we, we are massive collectors. I've never owned better stuff in my life. But the community and even ourselves, sometimes we so, we, we're, we don't point out the bad aspect of collecting, which is hoarding. And I was like, wow, like, what a shot. One of those things when you see someone have it, you're like, I need it. Yeah, sad, <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's true. It's... I have to find those things that make me still go, oh, dude, look at this piece of paper I found that went in an old Nintendo book that I've never seen. I'm like, you can't find that anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Go on eBay. It doesn't exist. They pull up in the nicest like Impala and you just see this guy with a shotgun. Doo, doo, oh, doo, is doo, doo. a shotgun drive by? <laughs> My uncle grabs me, throws me in the closet and jumps on top of me. Oh, that's cool. That's a good yeah. uncle. <laughs> he was going to say my uncle grabbed me and used me as a shield. I was like, oh no. He opened up a store literally like a mile down the road from me. And it might not. It have. might not have. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the pinnacle of video yeah, games yeah. was the Super Nintendo. But, Dude, this like kind of changes the dynamic. Yeah. Like, Besides just, looking like a cone head. He <laughs> <laughs> I look like the thumb from, uh, what is it called? I just look thumb like wars? A, I'm in the closet, mom, and I've had my TV cord running in there. <laughs> and I'm playing Mario Kart. TikTok. Oh, <laughs> I love how you said it too. He's it was calling like it the man bun man. Stared me directly in my eyes. Wait, the rocks, Rick. I'm buying this sign. Going from Nintendo to the Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64 yeah. to the GameCube to all these consoles was like everyone that came out, you were pining to see these screenshots because you're like, look how much different that looks. I know, I had friends, right? Dude, my Not grandma really. sucked at that game. Yeah. <laughs> it was me versus my grandma and my dog. I won every time. I bought a DK Oldies console and it was broken and in the thumbnail, it's, it's on fire. And it's like, well, I'm sure it didn't catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out here. Adios, everybody. See ya. See ya. Bye.